video, I want to show you how to use some of the helpful tools that Visual Logic has to find and solve errors in your program. I really like the Variable Watch tool. That opens up a window so that you can see the variables as they change. And with that, you use the Step Into tool, and it will highlight the line of code that you're going to execute next. So I'm going to just step through my program and I'm going to get into the load data procedure. Now this is going to first initialize my cost array and if you watch it it's right here and so I'm going to step into that and then it's going to go through and initialize everything to zero and then you can watch the other arrays fill up my ID number, first name, last name. If you watch that part of the screen right here and I'm going to hit F8 on my keyboard to go rapidly through this you can see each value get loaded as it reads it in from the file. And so it's loading number values for type of insurance, dental yes or no, and once it's all loaded, the next thing it's going to do is sort the data. And you can watch down here for what the temporary ID is, and then you can watch these change to get into the correct sort order. So again, I'm hitting F8 on my keyboard, and if you watch, the ID numbers are going to start changing order and with them, while they're changing order, each associated field in the other arrays is going to sort with it. So you can watch the whole thing as it's changing order, and you can see it happen practically live as you go. And so by the time that we're done, it will end with 123 at the front, which it's already at, ending in the 726, and it will be ascending order all the way through then. And it looks like we're just about done. So in a second, we're going to see that we're going to change to our next procedure right here, where we're calculating the cost. These are the cost for each of my um, employees. And as I step through this, you'll see they add the initial cost. And then it will add vision and or dental as needed as I step through. So each one will increment as it gets different values added to it. And then when it's done, it will display it on screen. And we can go ahead and hit play and see the whole thing run. Got those hidden. And so it will display everything on screen and tell you that your output has been sent to your file. There will be a separate video on how this program actually works, but that's how to use some of the debugging tools.